Okay, I'm going to give a demonstration around how to configure an application to use a TIFF image original or a TIFF image enhanced. So by default, when you get to verify, the image enhanced is shown. And so that got out to this box demonstration I'm doing where there's no lines in this file. If I look at the original, it looks like this, where it has all the lines and stuff in it. So I'm going to put those back so when the person is reviewing the document, they actually see all the lines. And so what I have to do is, if you look when the image enhancement is done, let me just look at one of these batch folders. Um, here's one of the batch folders. When when the image enhancement is done, here's the original. Here's the image that's enhanced, and it creates this TIO file, TIO file. Now, what I'm going to do, all I have to do is copy one over the other, and then it'll use the right image. So I have a sample that I use for that, and it's really simple to just copy one over the other, but I just have a screenshot of a rule set and I've built this thing over and over again. I don't use it as much anymore because the PDF conversion will actually use the enhanced or the original image if you choose a checkbox. So I don't use this that often, but here it is. Uh, I'll just use this little sample to build out this same rule set in my current application. I just get the, I take the image file, I copy it to a different variable. I probably don't need to do that. I'll probably in this one, this is an old thing I did a long time ago. I'll probably just put at p.image file here and I'll get the different parts of it out and then I'll rename the tiff file right here to tip file and I'll rename the to file to tiff file so that'll do the right thing so let's go work on that so open my application in datacap studio I'm going to create a, a new rule set and I will call it tiff to t i f t i o and Remember, I always create my rule names with an R and my function names with an F, so I can tell them in the log files really easy. If you use the function one, you'll never really find anything in the log file. Functions are the most important. F, T, I, F, T, I, O. And uh, that rule set had three elements, I think, to it. They are in this file group. file actions and file split is the first one split file name I'll put that one in there and then I'm going to rename a file and do another rename of the file so split file name and we had let me make this bigger uh, the file name was at image file and you could go and find these things by just going right into one of the oops, right into one of the batch folders there's a batch folder here and I can look at profiler.xml it's one of my tasks that has run and you can see that image file is the name of the file but uh, yeah and I just need the name of the file so I don't need the actual source path I can use scan source path but that's going to give me the PDF I could use original image file, which is probably a good one to use, um, but I'm just going to rebuild the rest of it from the batches directory. You'll see those variables here. So let's look at that again. Split file name. I, I just use at p.froot, at p.fpath, so I'll just call create variable names for the different pieces of that. Right here, at p.fpath. I just use F as something that won't overwrite something else if I have word path in there at p.f. Oops, that should have been f root path at p.f file and at p.fext for the extension. Now, my old file name, and we're going to do just follow the same instructions here. We're going to do um, at at path runtime. So that's the runtime directory. Um, that'll be the batch folder. And then I'm going to put the batch ID in there as the folder. And then I'm going to put the file name dot tiff. So that file name we just got out of there. And this one they called it file name. Um, I'm going to call it F. Maybe my thing is what we called it in our application. So here we go. I say at app ath. Is it two p's? I got two P's, A P P three P's. 
I always mess that one up. That's why I knew I was kind of making a mistake right there. At A-P-P-P-A-T-H, run time, plus, backslash, plus, at batch ID, plus, backslash, plus, and next up was that file name, at P, and I think I called it F name here, at P dot F file, at P dot F file, plus dot tif. I think I need the plus in there to make sure. It's nice to have one you know works. Oh, uh, dot tiff is going to go to dot tip. And so now I can just start copying that file name over and just using that so I don't have to recreate the whole thing every time. And, and I'll just copy that value. Plus dot tiff image TIP, oh, TIFF image process is probably what I was meaning, TIP. Yeah, you could do it whatever you want, but I just try to keep some kind of naming convention. TIP, make this a little bit bigger so we can see all those. There they are, and overwrite false, and the next one, I'm just going to take that same value, and I'm going to say copy the uh, plus dot TIO, remember that TIFF image original, to uh, plus dot tiff. So now I've moved those files around. I need to save that. I also have to specify where it actually runs. So I'm going to say pages um, and I'm going to add the page types here. I've got them in the upper left. I've got a new account and a corporate resolution. I'm going to do it on both of them. Pages of type corporate resolution main and pages of type uh, new account main. And I could do it on the trailing pages as well. I could probably do it on pages of uh, or like type page, but it doesn't really matter uh, since there's only a few. So I've got those done. I could publish this rule set. And the last thing, when nothing happens, you go, oh yeah, I forgot to put it somewhere. Now, where am I going to put this? Um, sometimes I could put it right after the verify. I've actually done a special rule set where you could put a button on the, on the verify panel that'll call one of these task profiles. They're pretty easy to add. I think I've done it in some other demos. And you could just have it switch between the two. You got to remember where you're at. You know, am I in the tip version or the tip version, and which one to switch back and forth to? But it's pretty easy to to do that. In this case, I'm going to do it in the profiler just before we actually send it back. Because really, what you what you want the image enhanced version is during this recognize. So anytime after that, I could switch it back. And so I'm going to actually put it right in this profiler here, right at the end, just before we split that batch out. I want to do it before the routing because. Um, image won't work be there anymore. Um, TIFFT will now run between the routing. Now, I am going to test this by running one of these files through, and I do this through DataCap Desktop. Let me make sure I have one of those samples sitting there. Yeah, that corporate resolution is there. Go to my DataCap Desktop. Do my vScan. This is a multi-format. It's a TIFF that gets converted. Okay, there it is in page ID mode. I'll run that. I lost one of my views here. Say OK and go to the profiler. And this is where it'll uh, do that swap, hopefully. You can see that it's currently the old image. This is a background process. I'm running the foreground. You can kind of see the image here. And child spawn, so now it's in verify. And now when we run it and verify, it, it should preview the original image now with the actual the lines in it. So I've got all the data off, fake data, but at least now it's showing the correct image. And I can simply move on to the next step, and it's done. So there it is. That's how you use an uh, image original or an image enhanced in your, um, in your application. Thanks.